Cockatiels are medium-sized birds that make lovable and intelligent pets. They are also social pets who will mimic your voice. Though their vocabulary is not very extensive, they have clear speech and can be excellent whistlers and will happily ride around on your finger or shoulder. This video will show you nine helpful tips on how to care for your new feathered friend as a beginner bird owner. Give your bird time to adjust when you first bring your cockatiel home. If your cockatiel is a hand-fed baby, this can be as short as a few hours. Unsocialized babies, however, will usually need two or three days to get used to their new surroundings. During the adjustment period, do not handle the bird, but do cleaning and feeding routines and talk softly with the bird. Give your cockatiel a healthy diet. Bird pellets should make up about 40% of your cockatiel's diet. Seed can make a good treat, but don't feed it in excess as it's too fatty. You should also feed your cockatiel healthy vegetables. Vegetables should be most of your bird's diet, and sometimes fruit well-cooked beans and spaghetti are examples of tasty treats you can give your cockatiel. When you choose fruits and vegetables to feed, organic ones are recommended. You should also thoroughly rinse off uncooked fruit and vegetables before feeding. Do not feed your cockatiel avocados, chocolate, alcohol, onions, mushrooms, tomato leaves, caffeine, or uncooked beans. As these are toxic, very sugary, or fatty foods such as candy bars are also not healthy for cockatiels. Remove any uneaten fresh food from the cage within 4 hours or else it could attract harmful bacteria. Make sure that your cockatiel always has clean water. You should change your bird's water daily. You should also change it when you notice that food or droppings have gotten into it. You should give your bird's water that you yourself would drink. Handle your cockatiel. If your cockatiel is already tame, you will need to spend at least 4 hours a day and more with it to keep it tame and friendly. Understand why your cockatiel may bite. You might feel hurt or upset when your cockatiel bites. But it's important to realize that birds bite because they are reacting to a stressful situation, not because they are trying to be mean. A bird will bite to express that it is scared or upset, and you shouldn't take bites personally. Think back to what you were doing when your cockatiel bit you and try to see things from its point of view. For example, a cockatiel might bite if you were trying to grab it or if you were too careless or rough while handling it. Additionally, many cockatiels are territorial and may be protective of their cage and may act aggressively if you try to put your hand in the cage. If your cockatiel bites you outside of the cage, put it back into the cage and wait for it to calm down before taking it out of the cage again. If your cockatiel is cage aggressive, instead of putting your hand into the cage, train it to step up onto a stick or perch. That way, you can have it step up onto the perch when you want to remove it from its cage. Teach your cockatiel how to speak and whistle. While males are better than females at speaking and whistling, females can learn how to whistle and will occasionally learn a few words. It's recommended that you begin teaching your cockatiel how to speak before teaching it how to whistle, as it can be harder the other way around. To teach your cockatiel to speak, talk frequently with it and say words you want your cockatiel to learn frequently. For example, say, good morning, every time you approach your cockatiel. If you hear the beginnings of a word or phrase, immediately reward your cockatiel with a treat and lots of attention. Teaching your cockatiel how to whistle is much the same as frequently whistling in front of your cockatiel and reward it if it begins whistling. Remember, you need time and patience to teach your cockatiel to talk. Recognize signs of sickness in cockatiels because cockatiels will often hide their illness until it is very bad. You should keep a sharp eye out for signs of sickness. Very sick cockatiels will sit with fluffed up feathers at the bottom of the cage. A cockatiel that is bleeding is also obviously injured. Signs of a sick bird include crankiness or biting, napping more often than usual, a decrease in your bird's weight or the amount of food he eats, refusal to eat 
or drink water. Coughing, sneezing, or irregular breathing. Lameness, lumps, or swelling. Inflamed, or crusty eyes, and nostrils, cloudy eyes, a soiled vent, or a drooping head, wings, or tail. Take your bird to the vet regularly. You should take your cockatiel, to an avian veterinarian, for an annual check. Or every six months. Even when your bird, shows no signs of illness. Additionally, you should immediately contact your vet, if your cockatiel exhibits any of the signs, we talked about before. Remember, that while it may be expensive, to go to the vet. Birds will often become very sick, in a short period of time. And it isn't a good idea, to wait and see with cockatiels, as they are rather delicate creatures. Be aware, that cockatiels can have night frights. Some cockatiels, are afraid of the dark, and have night frights, where they essentially, freak out in their cages. To prevent this, put a nightlight, in the room your cockatiel sleeps in. And don't completely cover the cage at night. Once you know, which perch, your cockatiel prefers to sleep on, you should make sure, that there are no toys, hanging around that perch. If your bird was to have a night fright, and get tangled up in a toy, he could be badly injured.